YouTube, this is Buy a Game. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to prepare emergency food with the least amount of utensils and the least amount of tea. This is white corn meal, pre cooked, pre cocida, pre cooked, harina de maíz blanco, flour of white maíz, corn. Uh, Enrich and enriquecida. Uh, pre cook white corn meal, mas arepa. We're going to do, I'm going to show you how to make an arepa. Arepa is very typical in Venezuela and Colombia. And it's basically a small party cooked with this. Uh, the ingredients, this is, this is the Spanish company, but you can get any white pre-cooked cornmeal. Make sure that it says A-R-E-P-A, -A, Arepa, Mas Arepa. Okay, the Venezuela has a brand name, the Colombia's got a name, but the deal is white cornmeal pre-cooked. That's the key to make arepas. So these are the way you're gonna do. Two and a half cups of uh, lukewarm water that have been put in the microwave. And we're going to mix it with two cups of white corn meal. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, use my trusty knife. And I have the cup right next to me when I'm making a mess. Two cups. Make sure you got a, to get one of those bowls. Remember when I show you the, the plastic bowl for the female hygiene? If it's clean, you can use that. That's not a problem. Now it's giving me a problem. Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes they don't want to cooperate with you. And I don't want to make a mess over here with the flour. Not with flour here. With the flour, mozzarella. Okay. So we're gonna have two cups. That's one. So if you have one of those Wally World Cup, you know that they hold two cups of water, so one of those will be sufficient, okay? Sufficient. And then the recipe, if the camera help, help me a little bit, it said two cups of Goya, two and a half cups of lukewarm water. Dos y media taza de agua tibia. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put one, I washed my hands already. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and uh, start mixing everything up. I know I only have one cup, but this is the way professional makers do. Don't put the whole water at one time, just a little bit at a time. Okay, once you get it like that, go ahead and put your second cup. I my hands dirty, but that's okay. Oh, and this is good for um, breakfast, and this is good for dinner. And once it's done, I'll show you how to cook it. I have, I have my comal going, my, my grill going at all. What does it say? Two and a half cups of water. Okay. You don't want it, you don't want it too soft, you don't want it too hard neither. So when I get it like this, I always put a little bit of salt. I always do. It doesn't say to put any salt, but you don't want to get it flat. Man, some people don't like it flat, I don't. And then um, I like to put also a little bit of chicken bouillon, just a tiny bit. Okay, squeeze it, heat it, knead it, get it together. The more you squeeze it, I got a more little bit over here, put it on my leg. The consistency gets better, that's the secret. If you've never done this, that's the secret. I'm not gonna put the half a cup because I think it's enough. See, that's the way you try it a little bit at a time, it tells you. Okay, I think I told you before about the uh, the parties, the uh, pupusa style, which is a Salvadorian 
dish. And I told you about the gordita, which is also a Mexican dish, and they're made out of corn. So this is also corn meal, white corn meal pre-cook. So everything here in America is is uh, done with corn meal. I know I have quite a few uh, subscribers from the Caribbean. Uh, you could do the same type of party with uh, tapioca starch, which is yuca. And uh, maybe I'll show you later using the tapioca starch. And I also found me an African store. And guess what? I found me the, uh, the yuca flour, so I have everything. And like I told you, this, you can do it up in the woods, no problem. Make sure your hands are clean, though, at least before you, you start doing that. Or you can put it in a plastic bag and squish it in a plastic bag, but I always like to have my fingers in there. The only thing you have to do is a container. And say, here, here, I have another one here. <laughs> this is a little bit too thick for the hygiene, but uh, if it, 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 and it is too tall, so. Think about getting the small one, maybe half of this side. Diameter is okay, but it's too deep. Uh, and then again, if you're inside the tent and you have to go to the restroom, you can use it. Put it in the corner and in the morning, you take care of it. And then once you put some water in there, it's clean. Uh, so people say, ooh, ah, yucky. Urine in there, but urine is, uh, it's not, uh, it, it, it comes from inside your body, but it's clean. I mean, what's the right word they're looking for? A sterile, that's the right word. So you don't have to worry about having anything in there. Just don't drink. Don't drink it, even though some people drink it for emergency. See, now it's getting, the dose getting to be tough. So I'm gonna go ahead and move to my kitchen and show you how you do this, okay? I'll be back in one minute. You, this is my kitchen. This is my comal already burning. You don't want it too thick. Maybe half an inch, half an inch thick, one centimeter. Then use your fingers to make it round, okay? Just comb me and water. Once I real cook, I'll show you what else to do. Here you go, that's one. Okay, remember, you can make it big, but not thick. Uh, you run the risk of having the outside done, but the inside being a little, ready so use your abilities your artistic abilities to make it as, as round as possible and then use the palm of your hand to squeeze it a little bit okay see there you go number three i want to do one more i got maybe one more over there Make a mess in your kitchen. And your, your good side is gonna complain. Okay, with the camera around and help me make sure. See, this is the way you squash them. If you want to make tacos, tortilla for tacos, this is the same process. Same process. The only difference is they have to be thin, so don't use a lot of dough for that. And then once you have it like that, go ahead and uh, hit it with your finger. See, try to make it round. So for the last two remaining dough that are here, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, chicken flavor bouillon by Maggie. I guess to give it a little taste, so you have a, you can put whatever you want to. You, you can put chicken, you can put beef, anything that will give you a little extra flavor. So it would have a taste, a little bit of taste. This is not like the uh, yaka that is a root, this is corn. But you want the corn with a little bit of, a little bit of flavor. I know when I was looking at the African store in my town, uh, I found uh, uh, palm oil, the African uh, type of uh, palm oil. So if you want to put anything in there, oil, you can do it, but don't, don't, don't put too much, only a little bit, okay? So the sand deal gonna go around. I'll back YouTube, uh, make sure that when you are flipping the uh, arepas, make sure that the top 
are hard. And you see this, this little bit. So you turn it every minute or so, so you don't burn it. You just can get a little golden brown. Uh, again, you can put anything in there. You can fill it with anything. I'm hitting that some uh, pork meat bowl, pork, uh, excuse me, uh, meat bowl. So I eat one with ham, ham and cheese, another one with uh, pork. Uh, you can pre-cook this before. But let's say you are in the woods and you uh, and you uh, harvest a uh, small animal. Well, pre-cook the meat. And once the meat is uh, pre-cooked, squirrel, any any small animal, rabbit, you have to pre-cook the meat. So this will be your starch, okay? And always uh, make sure you cut it in a little pieces so you don't see any. I don't like to eat meat in general pink. I like it well done, a little bit burnt. Remember, any any bacteria dies at a 212 degree. I would, some people said 140, but if you do it high temperature without burning the meat, that would be fine. Uh, you kill everything. And since you're going to put it in the middle of the uh, arepas, you don't want it to thick anyway. You want it thin slice. Okay. Let's keep moving it so you don't burn it. I keep flipping this out, you know, that burn on you. You can see it. You can hear it, excuse me. Uh, oops. Maybe I need to put the heat down a little bit. About seven. So you want to move, move the name location. Uh, I cannot tell exactly the, the, the precise amount, but as long as they are yellow and you see the core, Changing colors, then they are ready, and they have to be hard. Hard, that's the secret. And just keep flipping it. I would say probably a total of 15, 20 minutes. And I'll show you, I'll show you what we're gonna do later. We're back, you two. Remember, pre-cook white corn meal. And if you can see the arepa, A-R-E-P-A on the label, that's great. My producer was telling me if I know if, if she would know better, this could be up uh, the pita packet. Well, yes, the uh, pita packet they made out of uh, wheat flour, but these are white cornmeal, so you cannot say it is the same or call it pita because they're not. It's corn, very uh, American or Mesoamerican. So now, once you cut it open, yeah, hard. I have to be careful. See? Go ahead and put you a, a piece of cheese. Cheese that don't go bad. Shredded cheese, mozzarella, um, any type of cheese. I like ham. You can put pepperoni. I, I, I have cooking there. I have it. Uh, I have on the comal, the uh, comal or skill, whatever you call it. Yeah, I like to put a lot of ham and cheese. So. You can put salami, you can put pepperoni, you can put anything that you want. Remember that pepperoni lasts a long time out in the woods. So you buy the small packages and you take it with you, that's your meat. You got a bag of white cornmeal, the jaca flour, you can do this very fast. Here you go, you two. Arepas with cheese and ham. Uh, this is a very nice mix. And my holiday drink with a little bit of rum. Um, producer, uh, the name of this drink is? Oh, eggnog, sorry, I forgot YouTube. <laughs> okay, talk to you later, uh, happy holidays, or Feliz Navidad, whatever you wanna call it. Happy Hanukkah or whatever. And remember, water and white cornmeal and have it cooked for 15 to 20 minutes until they are yellow. A little bit of brown, and they are delicious. They are delicious. You can put any kind of sauce. Thank you, YouTube. Talk to you later. Behave.